This might seem like a quiet neighborhood, but there's always something happening. Like who knocked over these trash cans or even this porta potty? Security cameras can be helpful, but figuring out which ones to get can be difficult, especially if you're trying to decide between wireless and wired cameras. Once I show you how easy or not easy it is to use these cameras and how much it all costs, it should be very clear what is right for you. And don't worry, I'll show you what happened to the trash cans and porta potty later. When looking at wireless and wired cameras, the differences are becoming less obvious, especially since wireless cameras have improved quite a bit in the last few years. One example of this is 24 seven recording, which used to be mainly offered by wired cameras, but the Wisecam V3 connects to your Wi-Fi and can record 24 seven to an SD card. Outdoor Nest cams also use Wi-Fi and they can record 24 seven to the cloud. And these are all great options, but of course there are some trade-offs. SD cards can fail over time and there are monthly fees for cloud storage. Wired cameras avoid these issues by recording to a hard drive in your house, like this NVR from Reolink. It has two terabytes of storage built in so you can record multiple cameras 24 seven. There's no fees and it's very reliable since it will record even if the internet is down. These Reolink cameras also record 4K footage, which is higher quality than the 2K or 1080p resolution you typically find in wireless cameras. Look, you can zoom in and see exactly what I'm carrying. Oh wow, that's four packs of soda. Y yeah, zoom back out. Wired cameras have their own trade-offs as well. Starting with setting them up. With wireless cameras, it's pretty simple. Charge up the battery or plug it in for power, connect it to the app, and you're good to go. That's why wireless cameras are becoming popular. They make it so easy. Wired cameras require more work, but it's not as bad as you may think. Let's take a look at this Reolink kit as an example. The NVR that comes with the kit has eight ethernet ports on the back. These provide data and power to the camera, also known as PoE. It's great because you only need one cable and you don't need to worry about finding an outlet for the camera. Plus once it's installed, you can cover up the wire and it looks good. The kit also comes with four ethernet cables that are 18 meters or about 59 feet. I didn't need these because I had my house pre-wired during construction. The builders ran cat six ethernet from a central spot in my home through the attic to the four corners of the house. If your house is already built, you can do this yourself or you can just pay someone to do it. Look for low voltage electricians in your area. Now that the wiring is all set up, it was time to install the cameras, but I hit a roadblock. The ethernet cable on the side of the house is in this rectangular electrical box and the cameras have a little circle mount. So how is that supposed to work? There's a few ways you can go about it. I ended up mounting the camera to a wall plate and attached the wall plate to the box. I used a nylon wall plate since they don't break, or you could use a metal one to be safe, stainless steel screws to hold the camera mount to the plate, and a step drill bit to make a hole for the ethernet cable to go through. After that, it was smooth sailing. I plugged in the Reolink NVR to the router, and the Reolink app found it right away. I gave the camera a name, and that was it. So once the ethernet and the mount were figured out, Surprisingly, it wasn't any more difficult to set up than a wireless camera. Now when it comes to actually using a wireless or wired camera, you will see more differences. Wireless cameras are typically designed to be controlled from your phone. You can easily scroll through the video clips and even non-techies can use these apps. On the other hand, wired cameras are usually designed for desktop first and mobile second. Take Reolink for an example. On the desktop app, it's really easy to scrub through the 24 seven recorded footage. Now let's take a look at the Reolink mobile app. To view the 24 seven recording, you have to select an hour clip and scrub through it. Then you have to select another one if you wanna see a different time. Not very intuitive. If you wanna see clips where people or vehicles were detected, you have to click on show alarm videos only. In other words, you cannot see both events and 24 seven recordings at the same time. You have to jump back and forth if you want to see more footage around the event clip. Not a huge deal, but a slight annoyance for everyday use. Now this isn't true for all wired cameras. Unify has a really great mobile interface that I can navigate quickly. As I scrub through the timeline, it shows event pictures to quickly jump to them. 
It also shows a time lapse up top, which looks cool and is super helpful in reviewing footage. I use it all the time to quickly see who is coming and going from the front and back. It's similar to Nest if you've ever used their 24 seven recording. It's very easy to use and a much different app experience compared to Reolink. Of course, usability might not be on top of your priority list if all you care about is recording video, but quality may be a top priority. Wired cameras can typically stream a higher quality picture. These Reolink 4K cameras capture a lot of detail and look clear, as you can see by the footage. You could also have a live view of multiple cameras in the app or a computer monitor to always see what's going on. Typically, you cannot have multiple live streams of wireless cameras for an extended period of time. Another thing that I noticed was that Reolink and Unify both load the live streams quickly since everything is local. Wi-Fi cameras often use the cloud to connect, which can add a few seconds. That might not seem like a long time, but when you're waiting for it to load, it feels like it. If you're looking for a lot of smart home compatibility, PoE cameras are usually not so great. For example, I cannot view these Reolink cameras on an Echo Show. Wireless cameras like Eufy, Ring, Arlo, and Nest will all be much easier to integrate into your smart home. However, that's not saying that wired cameras cannot integrate. I have my Unify cameras working well with Home Assistant, but it's a much more advanced setup. All right, now let's talk cost. Reolink sent me this kit with four cameras to try out on the channel, but normally it costs about five or $600. For ethernet pre-wiring, I spent about $400, so around $1,000 combined, but there's no other fees after that, and that might seem like a lot, but let's compare it with other options. If you went with Nest Outdoor, it's $200 a camera, so $800 for four cameras, and it's $120 a year for 24 seven cloud recording. And after five years, you're looking at $1,400 total. Unify is even more expensive. One 4K camera is a whopping $450. Then after the cameras, you still need a Dream Machine Pro, PoE switch, and a hard drive. You're looking at easily spending $1,500 to $2,000, so around triple the cost of Reolink. Or you could go the extreme opposite and get the cheapest option. You can buy a Wisecam V3 and a micro SD card for about 50 bucks. So about $200 for a similar setup. Not quite the same, but hey, if you're on a budget. If you're already wired for PoE, but you don't wanna buy expensive cameras, you can use this little adapter that takes the power from PoE and converts it to USB to power the Wisecam. So what should you buy? Well, if you just wanna casually see who's coming and going in a few areas outside your house, then a wireless camera will work fine. I would use something like a Wise Cam if you already had an outlet up high, or Eufy cameras if you need something battery powered. Eufy did have a security mishap recently, but they record locally to a base station and they have person detection. If you want something more reliable that's not too crazy expensive, then Reolink isn't a bad option. Sure, the user interface could use some help, but it's not gonna miss anything, and the footage looks really good. So if that's all you care about and you're not gonna review the footage often on your phone, then this might be a great fit for you. If you're already using Unify for your networking equipment like I am, I would definitely consider their cameras. Yes, the 4K camera is expensive, but it has an extremely wide viewing angle and it's crystal clear. Unify is overpriced, but the app is so easy to use, it might make up for it. So what will I be using? I'm gonna continue to use the Unify cameras outside my house because I use the app and the time-lapse feature daily, and it's just so user-friendly. Oh, and what really happened to the trash cans and porta potty I think I hear those teenager kids again causing trouble. I'm gonna go teach them a lesson. Mm, I don't think that's a good idea. You know it was the wind that knocked over the trash cans? Don't worry, I have a good hiding spot. I'm gonna scare the crap out of them. Reed. Stop. Oh shoot, it's stuck. Oh no, oh no.